hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux version 2024.3 on virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so i can run windows linux and any other operating system as the virtual machine now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your browser and then search for virtualbox now you can see the first link to oracle vm virtualbox click on it And then click on the download button up here now we're going to select virtualbox for windows host since we're using a windows machine and click on it you should start downloading after downloading you should install virtualbox like any other software next we're going to download kali linux installer file so let's head to kali.org and here we are now click on the download button and it should take you down here now you can see kali linux installer image and virtual machines there are two ways you can install kali linux either using the installer image or the virtual machines so if you want to run kali linux immediately without having to install from scratch then you should use the virtual machine image so you can just run it directly without having to install from scratch but if you want to install kali linux from scratch and set everything based on your personal preference then you should use the installer image now i'm going to guide you through both methods so you can choose whichever you prefer so we are going to click on virtual machines first and then download image for virtual box since we are using virtual box so click on virtual box and it should start downloading after downloading kali linux image for virtual box and installing virtual box as well we can close our browser and open our download folder now let's install virtual box by double clicking on it Now let's extract Kali Linux VirtualBox image. Now open the extracted folder. Open. And you should find two files right here. One is VirtualBox machine definition file and the second is VirtualBox disk image. So let's run the first file which is VirtualBox machine definition around 3 kilobytes. So let's just double click on it and it should automatically add to VirtualBox. Now let's go to settings on our VirtualBox and then under system you should see the motherboard from here you can increase the RAM to whatever you want. I'm going to give it around 4.6 gigabytes and then for the processor I'm going to give it 3 cores since I have 8 cores on my PC. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% to your virtual machine. Now I'll click on OK and then you can click on start to run Kali Linux. The default username is Kali and the password is Kali as well. And then we can log in. So basically this is how to run Kali Linux version 2024.3 using the VirtualBox pre-built image. Now this is it for method 1. The second method is installing Kali Linux from scratch using the installer image which is what we are going to now so let's close this and then head back to our browser now this time we are not going to download the previous image we are going with the installer images and under installer images you can see right here this is the 64-bit complete installer image so click on it and it should start downloading after downloading the 64-bit installer image for Kali Linux 2024.3 we can close our browser and then open our download folder so this is our kali linux installer image and that is what we are going to be using for the installation so let's open virtualbox and then this time we're going to create a new virtual machine so let's click on new and then let's call this kali linux 2024.3 and then set the type to linux and set the subtype to debian right here and then the folder right here is the location where you want to install kali linux now you can set it to wherever you want in my case i'm going to set it to my ssd and then i'm just going to create a new folder and name it kali now you could install this wherever you want in your documents in your download folder wherever so i'm just going to use that folder called kali and then we're going to go to hardware 
here you can set the ram to whatever you want i'm going to give it around five gigabytes of ram i'm going to give it three cores from my processor since i can run up to eight now you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your resources to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host machine next we go to hard disk and then set how much storage you want to allocate to kali linux now in this case i'm going to give it around 88 gigabytes but you can set it to whatever you want now we can click on finish after doing that click on settings and then you can always change the ram and the cpu cores under the system right here you can see the base memory which is the ram and the processors right here next go to storage and then under controller id you can see an empty disk icon click on the empty disk icon and by the right click on this disk icon and then choose the disk file now locate your download folder and then select your kali linux 2024.3 installer file and then open next go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes and then click on ok now let's click on start to run the installation hit enter to proceed select a language for the installation and continue set your country continue set your keyboard layout continue now we're going to leave the host name as it is continue domain name continue now set a full name for this computer set the username and a password continue select your time zone now for the partitioning method we're going to go with guided use entire disk continue and then this is the disk we allocated 94.5 gig right here now let's continue all files in one partition continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue select yes to allow write changes to disk continue and it should start installing the base system Now select the desktop environment. You can go with GNOME, KDE, Plasma or XFace, whichever you prefer. But I'm just going to go with the default XFace and then continue. And the installation is complete. Now select yes to install Grub Bootloader and then continue. Select our dev SDA right here and then continue. And the installation is complete. Now click on continue to reboot. Now log in with your username and password. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.3 on VirtualBox. You could either install using the pre-built image or using the installer image, whichever you prefer. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.